All right, so continuing on here with the idea of how to build a solo, I want to work on, uh, we're still in the key of G, same loop here, uh, I was playing on, on a C harmonica and cross harp. The idea of building a solo, you know, like I mentioned briefly in the last video, best thing to do is start out with a simple phrase and leave space. Listen to B.B. King's solo. ba bump. So many times you just start the solo just like that, all right? And so we're going to practice that right now, and then, and then you develop it. So you take the motif, okay, which is like a, a little melodic idea, and then you start developing it and expanding it, okay? So we're going to do that right now. All right, let's get this loop happening. All right, so that, I'm just playing the one draw to the two draw as a way to start. I did the same thing, but I just varied it a little bit. Now I'm going to vary it even a little bit more. There I just, I included the three draw. One draw, two draw, three draw. The quintessential lick. Now we go to the five chord, I'm going to do a trill. And then uh, at the end, I did a turnaround lick there. So you can see how when I started the solo with a simple phrase and left space, and then I modified it a little bit, modified it a little bit more, then when I went to the trill, it was a, it was a nice big dramatic thing, right? You're, you know, so the, the longer you take to, to build it, then the, the more exciting the climax is gonna be. Whereas if I just start playing all kinds of notes all the way from the beginning and everything, it's gonna be hard for there to be a climax. Okay, so let's try that again. This time, I'm, my first phrase, instead of just one draw to two draw, I'm going to do one draw, two blow, two draw, like this. Just repeating the phrase. I just went two draw, two blow, two times. That's all just on the four draw. Wah, wah, wah. I'm just bending it up there. Simple, but leaving space. That's one of my favorite licks right there. That's the, the five draw and then the four draw kind of qu quintessential lick. I'm going to play that one again. I love that lick. I just repeated the exact same thing twice. Again, repetition. I can't, I can't repeat it enough. <laughs> same lick, I just went ta 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 on the one note there for a while. I'm gonna do a trill again. I'm gonna go six drop. I have a video, one of the videos called Breaking Out of the Box of Cross Harp. That six draw is a great way to, to, to do a climax, you know? If you're, if you're trilling, 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 and, and everybody's loving it, and you're like, man, how do I take this higher? The six draw is your friend, I'll show you. Here's the trill. How do I go higher? Um, so that's some ideas there for you uh, about building a solo. Yes, keep starting it simple, making a simple phrase, leaving space, and then developing the simple phrase. You play a lick, you repeat the lick, you vary it a little bit. Maybe you play it a little bit higher. You can move, that's another, so you can, you can vary it by adding a note. You can vary it by just changing it rhythmically. Let's, let's talk about ways you can vary a phrase. All right. Let's say I have this phrase. Okay, that was a two draw bent to released. Okay, I can play the same thing, but I just started on a different beat there. I'm not doing anything except for instead of starting it on beat one, I'm starting it on beat two. 
or I could change the rhythm. Still using those same two notes, but just changing the rhythm. All right, so I'm starting to develop a little bit. Now I'm gonna add another note. That was up to the three draw and back to the two draw. Ending on the three draw there. I did the trill there as, as, as we were going into the four chord. That's a real common place to put a trill like that. It's important to know where you are. You have to know the 12 bar blues form just inside and out, you know. Now we're going to the five. I know that. That was on the one draw, four blow, four draw. All right, let's do um, the four draw to the, th to the three draw. That's a real nice thing. It's a great little phrase. Now I'm gonna do three draw, four blow, four draw, and bend. I'm gonna repeat that a lot. Okay, so hopefully some of this stuff is helpful. Uh, again, let me know if you have any questions, but that's again, just illustrating the idea of what they call motivic development, which is taking a motif, just a short little simple idea, stating it, expressing it, and then just playing around with it, you know, varying the rhythm, adding a couple notes, you know, building it, and then, uh, you know, going for the trill or whatever. So these are, these are some ideas about how to build a solo. All right, I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.